Hey, how's it going guys? JK here. In today's video, I'll be going over my top 10 need to know tips, not tits. I said 10 tips for the Red Dead Redemption 2 online hunting wagon. My list of top 10 will help you decide whether it's worth buying or not. First and foremost, how much does it cost? You'll have to shell out $875 plus three tokens. And if you choose to pay in gold bars, you're looking at 35 gold bars. Before you can unlock the hunting wagon though, you need to reach rank 10 in the trader role. If you're looking to rank up super fast in the trader role, I have a video on my channel that'll help you rank up at minimum one level per hour. Right, let's dive into my top 10 tips on the hunting wagon. Tip number one. Guys, if you're prepared to shell out $875 for a hunting wagon, then do yourself a favor and spend another $125 on getting the insurance. Let me tell you, without it, each time you toast your wagon, you're going to cough up $8 in repairs. It covers you for when you damage your wagon and if your wagon is damaged by griefers. So certainly well worth it. Tip number two, the wagon acts as a storage locker for your animal parts and carcasses, which not only allows you to transport more cargo per hunting trip, but also ensures your cargo remains safe, even in the event of you being disconnected, which seems to be happening more and more these days. If you're disconnected and re-enter the game, any cargo on your horse is gone. Tip number three, you can't use your hunting wagon and your horse at the same time. This works the same with any owned vehicles. You have to first flee your horse, then you can call in your hunting wagon and vice versa. You dismiss your wagon and then you can call in your horse. So the two of them work independently when hunting. So what I do is hunt on horseback because my horse is faster and more agile than my hunting wagon. And when I have enough carcasses, I stockpile them near the road, flee my horse and call in my hunting wagon in order to load the carcasses safely into it. Tip number four, the storage capacity of the hunting wagon is 10 small and five large animals. If you're a fisherman, your hunting wagon will store up to five large fish taking place of the large animals. Although Crips won't accept fish at the Crips Trading Company, but these can be sold at the butcher for profit. Tip number five, you can fast travel with your hunting wagon, but this is not really necessary because when you fast travel on your horse or just on foot, you can still call in your wagon from your new destination. Now, you don't have to be on your hunting wagon when you fast travel in order to have your wagon travel with you. You can fast travel as an individual player and then from your new destination, you can just call in your wagon. The nice thing about this is that if your camp is in New Austin, you can decide to go hunting in the remote snow-covered Grizzlies area for the day. Do your hunting, call in your wagon, load your wagon, and then fast travel back to camp from where you will then call in your wagon filled with the animals that you hunted in the grizzlies. This can make a nice change of scenery and the type of animals you get to hunt for the day. Tip number six, I use Xbox. Nothing personal, but I'm just better than you. So to spawn my wagon, I press left on the D-pad, scroll down to stables, then vehicles, then owned vehicles, then select the wagon. Tip number seven, if you're out hunting in a remote area and you flee your horse and call in your wagon, you may get a message that says the stables are busy and you cannot spawn your wagon at this time. This is a misleading message. It's not misleading, it's just a crock of shit. In that, in actual fact, what is happening is that the wagon cannot spawn because you are not near a road. It's got nothing to do with the stables being busy. So make your way closer to a road and then you'll be able to spawn your wagon. This is another reason why I use my horse when hunting and transport my carcasses closer to a road if I'm in a remote area. So then I just flee my horse, call in my wagon, load the carcasses. If you don't do this, and you leave your carcasses to go fetch your wagon from the road, there's a chance that your carcasses will despawn, which has happened to me a few times and is lousy to say the least. Tip number eight. As I said before, the hunting wagon is really a storage space for your carcasses and in the trader role, time is money and XP. So don't spend your time driving your wagon all the way back to your camp to unload it. Listen, you dumb schmuck. Nobody tells me what to do. 
just dismiss your wagon, call in your horse, gallop back to camp, then from your camp, flee your horse and call in your wagon. Pick it up from the road and drive it the short distance to camp where you offload it. Tip number nine. Keep in mind that whenever you dismiss your wagon, there is a two minute waiting period before you can call it back again. Fortunately, this does not apply with calling your horse, which comes almost immediately. Tip number 10. Now, although in the bounty hunter role, other posse members can store bounties in your bounty wagon, this is not the case with a hunting wagon. Other players cannot store their carcasses in your hunting wagon. Although in the wagon settings, you can allow other posse members to drive your wagon. The workaround to this, of course, is that other posse members must just stockpile carcasses near your wagon so that you can load them into your hunting wagon. Okay, so the positive of the hunting wagon is that you're able to make more profit by safely transporting more carcasses to crypts. The negatives are that it complicates your hunting experience with many more user interface interactions and logistic consideration. In the trader role, it's really quite easy to rank up compared to the bounty and collector roles, and this can easily be done without the hunting wagon. $875 is a lot of money, and when you consider all the interfaces you need to go through to call in your hunting wagon, and then when you do, it arrives at the nearest road, isn't always as easy as one might think. But I still like my wagon. As far as profits are concerned, I would say the hunting wagon is worth having if that is what's important to you. So guys, those are my top 10 tips on the hunting wagon in Red Dead Online. How has your experience with the hunting wagon been so far? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you learned something new, destroy subscribe and shoot that bell icon straight in the nuts. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers for now.